Hello everyone, today we have a Parakeet Slime subscription box review, and this is the slit that shows all the slimes from this month, and this month is mainly Halloween and fall themed slimes, and there's their business card that you've probably seen a bunch, and stickers, as well as a pin, and I thought the pin was very cute. The three slimes that were in this box are pumpkin spice latte milk, blueberry frosting, which was so creamy, by the way, and frankenberries. Anyways, let's get right into the video. This is pumpkin spice latte milk. This is one of her thick and glossies, but I'm not sure if she's still overactivating her slime since it's still a tiny bit warm because this one was a little rippable, so it did rip occasionally when I stretched it. Um, and it was super thick, which is a good thing and also sort of a bad thing in this case. But other than that, I think once it melts down, it'll still be super thick and it'll be like even better than before. And I don't think this is my favorite scent because it's sort of strong in my opinion, but that's my opinion, of course. Other than that, I do like the scent and the texture does make nice bubble pops. So it is a nice texture if you like more like super duper thick holdable slimes. This is Frankenberries. I think this is my favorite scent out of all these ones. It's like a super sweet fruity berry scent and it's super nice in my opinion. And other than that, rather than just scent, this is a thick and glossy semi foam. I definitely prefer this thick and glossy over the last one. And with the beads added in, it's like the perfect crunch and it's super crunchy and i just love it and the beads in it do occasionally fall out but that's not such a big deal and there were some two like other sprinkles that i don't think were meant to be in there which you know it happens as well as um the beads i do think were actually hand dyed which i thought was definitely cool you know i think eventually it will bleed as I sort of was learning throughout it. But other than that, I just personally really, really like this one.
as you can see here, they do look like they're hand dyed because of the sort of variation of dye, I guess. Like, this is meant to be purple. It was a bit more purple before, so I do think it bled into the slime. But this is just the example that I wanted to show y'all. Finally, we have blueberry frosting. I think this is my favorite from the package, mainly because of the texture. The scent is pretty good. It's blueberry frosting, so it does smell quite good. Except this texture, like, whoa. At first, it was, like, so creamy, like, the creamiest thing ever. And, um, afterwards, it inflated, like, a ton. And, I mean, like, a ton in, like, less than a minute. So it's like so fluffy and just creamy and like the perfect texture in my opinion. And it was duotone, duotone, I believe that's how you describe two colors. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um. Anyways, this was super fluffy, super soft, and honestly, I think maybe one of my favorite of their butter textures. Especially if it's with their clay, like if they're using their own clay that they recently have released, that'd be like super nice clay. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all next video. Bye.